yes guys welcome to my youtube channel this is simon today i brought to you some few steps in order to download and install microsoft 365 in your computer but what you will need there are only few things you will need the first one is your computer or laptop the second one is an internet connection and the third one may be your phone number only that and email okay now those are the things you need and after that you are good to go just put on your computer put on internet sit down relax bring a cup of coffee near you keep on what taking taking every time you want you are following me right so let's jump into the what into the thing and do it yeah so the first st step you need to do go down the open note my, my one of the search engine you are using for example google chrome microsoft edge firefox whatever the case for me i'm using what i will be using chrome for this particular video so open your my your chrome google chrome as you can see it is now opening when opening it go to your search engine the search box and type in this word microsoft developer you see this you see this word here type that one into your search engine and click enter press your enter key like that so once you have pressed that this is the page you are in so these are the results of your search engine so you can see this is the logo what microsoft and the first link is saying microsoft developer click on that very one Once you have clicked on it, I want you to scroll over here. You wish to see this title here. Start what? Building with this Microsoft product. Microsoft extends most of these big organizations, big companies, which develop these softwares. They have, they have a section for developers to use their products. Their product they extend to the developers to help the developers apply this, integrate these products into their what projects they are also what developing. For example, I can give you an example to know what to call an API. There are those APIs which as you as a developer you get from those these companies and integrate into your what your application or web application and come up with what you are up or in other what product you are developing so that's how these things work so so as we click on this one, one it's like you see here yeah, it's very logo in it in it just click on that as you have clicked scroll down once you are have reached this point you see these two girls the heading is saying what Microsoft 365 developer program. Click on this link called Join today. Once you have clicked, they take you to this dashboard. Okay, on this dashboard, click Join now. Follow me very clearly and clearly. Once you have clicked that. Yes, be patient, it will redirect you to a sign in page where you need to sign in with your Microsoft Word account. Okay, now this step is where you should now be careful. Once when you have a Microsoft account with your Gmail, you have already opened some time back, just click here, put here the micro the, the email, and click next and continue. Put in the password. But if you don't have, click on what. No account, so create one. Okay, click on create one. Let me take you to create one and create one and see. Now, once you are you are here, what you're gonna do? Type your what? Your email. The my name I'm using is called this one, which I'm going to use for this particular video. Okay.
Klick Next. Once you are here, you need to type the word this password. So here they are saying enter the code we sent to this. You see that? So you go to your phone, you see like this. So guys, guys, as you can see, they have sent me the code. Make sure you copy this code. And come and paste on this. On your phone, the same thing. Go to your phone and look for it here. You can get it here. You see, this is the code that we type. All right. Click next. Once you have clicked next. Wow, you have, you have created what we call Microsoft account. And we are going to pass verify these steps. Option 1. Option 2. Option 3. Option 1 Option 2 Option 3 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 Yes, guys, you guys are verified you wait then to add in your developer dashboard, right? 
So now I'm a very pandash about as you can see. This is how it is. You're going to see how it looks like. Okay. Yeah, they are rounded for me. Yeah, so first dashboard looks like this. So when you reach here, what you're gonna do is to make sure you select your country or region mm -hmm. in Uganda. So now, so I'm going to select Uganda, okay? And I'm going to type my company. Depending on the company you are, Uganda, this is not a must. Even if you don't have a company, type any one in your English you mean in as the language yeah you accept the terms you can also take this and click next so they're asking you question what is your primary focus as a developer choose only one so as you for personal use just click personal projects okay then you wish what areas of macros of resource development 65 development are you interested in we will show you resources tools and training to help you get started right so here you can click any of these not also a must i just select few and click save now now this sandbox has come now when you look through this you're going to realize that there's some point here something which is interesting here so they have shown you that here they are telling you that they have given you 90 days out of 90 days what does this mean it means that this subscription as a developer they give you three months 90 days are three months so they give you three months as a developer to use this package for free for free now and the good news is that even though those three months get get the get home you still have access to this product they still you activate they still activate you and keep on watch using this for your lifetime you see that so it means that when this 30 day three months are ending your account will be just reactivated automatically as long as you go online like this they reactivate your account automatically so that should not be a worry to you. So three months down, then the next time they do one, they reactivate. So yeah, just click on next. Now when you reach here, this way now you will provide your username. Which username you want them to call you? For now I'm going to use that one. The password I'm going to also create it, okay? You also create your own. That is the password. Here you put your password very well. We should never forget it. Because once you have forgotten it, that will be a problem to you. But still, the good news is you can easily what? You can easily what? Like, you can easily change it, change it, or with password and they change it to the password. Now, here, what you're gonna do? Okay, country region for your data center here you can also choose any but you can use us which is okay so if you here you may not need this don't just click on it just click continue now here you are going to provide your phone number okay the phone number which is what on such that they send you the code and you what Make sure you type the phone there which they are going to send to me. So I'm going to put the phone my phone number and see what's going to happen. Let me get my number which is here. Depending on the country of the uh, it doesn't matter which number you're going to enter. Just enter the number. As long as you have chosen your correct country code, that is not a problem. Which is that? Click send. So we'll be waiting for that code. You have sent me the code. So just make sure you enter this code in here.
fix it up and you wait for what's going to happen they're setting up your what? subscription okay the subscription is being set up the first way to do it Wait a bit, wait a bit. You can click on this to make sure. You know, you can close this one. You wait a bit, you wait a bit. Sometimes when you are delayed with us, you can refresh this page. Still has not come. There's something which has appeared here and wait a bit. That's the thing I'm waiting. I'm going to send it to, to us so that we may use it. We will need it somewhere. Yeah, this one, okay? So, there I advise you when you reach to that point whereby they are not given you the thing, the, 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 the Login credentials as delayed to come. Make sure you first click, click around and refresh the page and go back. You saw where I clicked. I clicked on what? You can rewind this video back and see where I clicked. And then I clicked back and it brought me this. Okay, so if that page is the way to fit, it is not automatic. So you make sure you follow what I did in there. So on, on this page, I will advise you to make sure this is a major thing we need here. This is the administrator email which we need now. When you look through this email, you may find that you will find that your domain name it is here. Then add this is the unique identif identifier for this developer. Then the this one remains the same on Microsoft.com for all the developers. So in other words, they use your domain name, then they put at what a unique identifier here. Which is for every for every developer is different from the other. So this is the un, this is the unique identifier. So you are general email now. It is all of these. So you make sure you, you copy this and paste it somewhere and keep it somewhere. Or you can take a snip snapshot of this what area. And to, to take a snapshot, you know what to do. Click on hold down Windows key. Shift and then S. This thing will appear. So just make sure you snip through here like this. You can snip through here like that. I believe. So this, there you will have like taken a screenshot of part of that and screen. So once you have done that, make sure you leave. You can leave this point of this this point of I mean your this this page, alright. Leave this page open and then come back and go to your Microsoft store. Now, there are two things you have to do here. When you click on your Windows Start button, or you click on this, you will find that some computers, like some Windows after installing, they come with what called Microsoft 365 icon here but for this case mine doesn't have so if it's not having an option you can go to microsoft store so once you are in microsoft your microsoft store which is this go to your search Search box and type there 
Microsoft 360 wait a bit search for Microsoft 365 office ok which is this one click on that now once you are search for that click on this wait Um, as you can see, mine was already there installed, but needs update. I will first update it, okay? Whatever it yours may bring, when you bring it, shall quit it. When it shows install, you click install, okay? Depending on which window you are using. So, we have to first update it, then later on I will open it, okay? So, as you can see, I'm still updating it, okay? Wait a bit until this and then later on we continue so guys as you can see after opening this microsoft you will for this office you will first go through these simple simple things yeah so when you look at this you will realize that this point you can use microsoft 365 but you can only use it what when you're online. Those applications are here. But what, what, this one, you can only use them when you're online. But when you're offline, forget about using them. That's why I put you this simple trick to make sure you can use it when you're online as well, okay? So, once you're opening your office from the Microsoft Store here, once I've clicked OK, I will come here can come here and sign in with your what? work account see so here i have already work account on this on this laptop but for the other one which you created you will click here click sign in with different account and you make sure you bring in the other mail which i told you so when you click on that you will come and choose this work different use a different account and choose work or school account not microsoft account okay click that one wait a bit so you can see it as good for us signing what oh, no. so this is the point i told you to make sure you copy this or keep it somewhere so come back here copy this or if you can Cram it in your head and just type, still okay. Copy that and make sure you come and paste it here. Ctrl, okay. Click next. Here yeah, now, remember the password I told you to make sure you remember. Type that password here. Remember, we created password two times for the Microsoft account and then this one for the developer account. So whatever the case, you can what? You make sure you remember all those passwords. So here I click next. Click wait a bit. As you can see, it's now loading. Make sure just your internet is stable. What makes it delay? Just a bit of internet. That 
Just be patient. It will work out, okay? Now, in this step, as you can see, stay, keep your account secure. It wants you to download Microsoft Authenticator. Now, that's where now I'm going to take you through again. Let me go to my phone and I'll show you what to do there, okay? So make sure you bring your phone, go to your Play Store or App Store when you're using iPhone. Search for, search here for what? For Microsoft. Is this one Microsoft Authenticator? So for Mambo, I already have it. If you don't have your click install, after installing, click open. So once you, and there it leaves it with us. So I verified it. Let's wait and see. So. Unfortunately, this can't be displayed on the screen. Why? Because it is what? Secured an application whereby it can't be seen anywhere by anyone else, okay? So, but when you open yours, there are options there. Plus button, what, what? So, you will click the plus button and add your account. This one, which you have used to what? To log in this, using this link, Login to Microsoft Office, okay? Or else, if you may not want to go through Authenticator, you can use it. I want to use a different Authenticator, different one, Authenticator app. Eh? So you can click on this. Oh, I want to set up a different method and click this, okay? Whatever the okay. case. So let's click this is the other one, not see. But Authenticator is the best option. Because it, it just log, logs in automatically every time just make sure you use your fingerprint or your pin or password on the phone okay so we we'll use authenticator for this or you may use a different method the same thing just follow the same process process so this will until what you reach it that point so for one word to use what authenticator so it's telling me, you see when you use authenticator, you are going to reach a point that tells you scanning this QR code, okay? So make sure you go to your authenticator. And you click plus button, okay? Yeah. When you click on a certain plot, plus button, there is an option of personal account or work or school account. You will click on school account. And you see, there is this option of scan what QR code, okay? You can see this. Click on it. So once you have clicked, bring the thing near your screen, this one, and you scan. So you can see now activating it, and the account added successfully. So here you can click now next. Once I click next, you see this number here, and it's also the same number shown on my phone. As you can see my phone here. So I'm going to type that number here. It is 55. So I click yes. Once I click this, say approved. You see that? So here I say you also give me a tweet that's done. Click next. And click done. Say so Microsoft app was successfully registered. So I will click next. Done. After that, make sure to click OK. Now 
Okay, next time I'm going to show you how you can do this with your phone by the way. Whereby you can just press using your computer, not even your phone. The phone you can put somewhere far and use your your, your computer to use your phone by the way without your need of touching your phone. Okay, I will teach you this next time. Just make sure you remind me in the comment section. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends on social media so that they may also get this very knowledge to help them out. Do their work smoothly, okay? So, here we are done. Now, so there we are already signed in to this office, okay? Wait, 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 wait. So saying we are glad that all those things we just click next 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 I have to go as well. So just click here next next next. So here we have signed in to this. You can see this thing has already changed. So once you have signed in there, my idea is not yet. Let it over, let it over. So, you see this icon, install office. Click on this. I say office 365 apps. So, click on this and download that office 365. So, is here say asking you how you're going to download, telling you how you run it. So, and it tells you stay what online. So, you can close, you see it is now loading. So you can close this. So it's now downloading our macros of this if I want set up okay. You can see it in here. So here you can see it as a red one, I'm going to get one to paint it. Close this. So this is the setup for Microsoft 365. So what you're going to do is to make sure I run this as an administrator. Run this, oops, this setup as an administrator. Click on this option, run as an administrator. Click yes. As you can see, the setup is now going to run. Stores for us all of them. So, guys, as you can see, it has started installing this one, Microsoft. We don't question here saying Microsoft Office 365 and Office are installing in the background. Please don't go offline, no restart your computers. So that's how it does. So you can see it's now installing, okay? So you will wait until it finishes, okay? So guys, after installing everything, you come and look for it from here so they have already been installed on my device so when I click on Microsoft to add and to test and see what's in there
Pegang kan di sini, di sebelah sini tu pegang kan. So this is the Microsoft ESL talking about. Now, this one I already installed on this computer. I didn't follow wait for the other one to install because I already had it. But for you, you will be patient. It installs and make sure you have internet. And you be patient with it. Installs it very well. And after installing, you will come and sign in from here. Okay. Click on this. You will find here that there is no one. No account yet. So for me, I have already this. Remember when you sign in, the other side it comes here also automatically. So you just click. You can keep on just changing, changing this account. For me now, I have two of them so far. So that is the thing. And I hope this one has already been helpful for you. As you can see, this is how it looks like, and I can take you to, to check on the watch. But the subscription for this enterprise, you can see. This is the thing. And it's all what Microsoft is saying. And you ask for what enterprise. So, yeah, that is it. And as I told you, every after the end of the three months, they will add even more what? Three months, I make it six next time. Again, next time they increase like that. Like, so we'll keep on just it will keep on updating automatically. There's no need of productivity. The productivity they gave they gave us during the process of registering to become a developer. So here there are very many options, very many new updates which has come. One day we shall just get time and get a video for it to just move around to check out the new things which are here. Okay. So I hope this video has been helpful and it will help you and others as well so make sure you share with this, this friends of yours ever, wherever they are so that they may be able to also enjoy this so that's this for today make sure you subscribe like the video and share it with your friends on social media and everywhere okay so hope to see you soon every every week we have upload around thursday and friday Majorly Friday everyone, every week we upload a new video. Make sure you just subscribe and turn on the notification bell such that every time you upload new tech, new what fix in the computer, you will be able to access. And there will be a free course of people who totally don't know about computer who are just planning to begin. We shall be teaching them about the what computer from the beginning from scratch like microsoft powerpoint all those stuff so i'll be taking them through one by one every time so it's okay so thank you for that and i pray you'll be well thank you i sign out